Okay, so you want to delete pages in a PDF. I'm going to show you two methods. Both methods are free to use. Now you'll want to use this first method if what you want to do is fairly simple. You want to delete one or two pages or a range of pages. Now what you would do is right click on your PDF, go to open with, and then open with Google Chrome, or if you don't have Chrome, Microsoft Edge. Then up in the top right hand corner, very simply, you click on this print button. And your destination needs to be save as PDF, or you might have something like Microsoft print to PDF. Now in this pages drop down, you need to choose customize. And then this box, you list the pages you want to print, not the pages you want to delete. So in my example, I want to include page one and then this section on aircraft. So what I would do is I type one comma and then 13 to 36. It will give you a preview of how your new PDF will look. So you can look at that. And one thing I've noticed on mine is that actually it goes down to 35. So I'm going to change that last number from 36 to 37. And now you can see that I'm including the last page in that section. So all I need to do is click on save. Select where I want to save it. Give it a name. And then click on save. So now if I close Chrome down and I have a look at this manual by opening it. It now only includes that front page and that section on aircraft. Now, if you have a more involved scenario where you want to pick out lots of different pages to include in the new PDF, this is what I would do. You need to open up the Microsoft Store. So go down to your Start button, bottom left of your screen, and Microsoft Store may very well appear here. If not, just type Store up in the search bar there and open up the Microsoft Store. Now, in the search bar at the very top, you want to search for this, PDF, Merger and Splitter. Now there are two apps with very similar names. I'm using this one here with this purple background on its icon. And I've already downloaded it, so you'll have to download it. All I need to do is click on Open. Now you want to use this option here, Split PDF, if you click on that. And then you go to Load PDF. And you need to navigate to the PDF that you want to delete pages in. Select it and then click on Open. So this is great. It gives you a thumbnail of each of the pages in your PDF. Now, if you want to select specific pages to be included in your new PDF, it's just a matter of clicking on the individual thumbnails. The other thing you can do is select all and then deselect the pages that you want to delete. Now it tells you down here which pages are going to be included in your new PDF. In the output setting drop down, make sure extract selected pages to a single PDF is selected. It is by default. And then click on this button, split PDF. Then you need to navigate to where you want to save it. So you have to select a folder first and then click on Select Folder. And then you can go to Open File. And here is my PDF with those selected pages. Now, I'm just going to show you an issue you may get when using this app. Now, previously I opened this version of the user manual. But the original user manual that I downloaded from the DGI website is this one here. So I'm going to click on Open. And then I'm going to select some pages to print. And then Split PDF. I choose the desktop and then click on Select Folder. And I get this message, Cannot Open Input File. Now, if you get that message, this is what you need to do. 
Here's the original PDF that I downloaded from the DJI website. I'm going to right click on it, open with Chrome, and then I'm going to print the whole of that PDF and create my own version of it. So I'm not going to select any specific pages. I've got Save as PDF selected there and click on Save. And then I'm going to give it a name, My Drone Manual, and click on Save. If I go back to this app and try and open that new version of the manual, click on Open. And then I select a couple of pages, split PDF, desktop, select folder. It now works. So that's the only problem that I've come across using this application. It may not be this app's fault. There may be some protection on the PDF that prevents us from extracting pages from the original. That's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.